Let's talk about Boshima's Strike the Black campaign, which was this crime crackdown, um, which we already touched on earlier. Xi Jinping obviously launched the Sweep the Black campaign during his time in office. So how is Bo's anti-crime crackdown both a predecessor and quite different from the national crime crackdown that was launched under Xi Jinping sometime, I think, in 2017? Um, either, of, either of you would be great. I might have, I'll have a first crack at answering that. Um, so if there's one thing that can be said about Bo Xilai, it's that he has very acute political antennae. And he arrives in Chongqing at a time when Chinese economy is growing at breakneck pace, an extraordinary rate. Uh, also at a time when there's a lot of unease, discontent building up in the Chinese population about crime, about inequality, about corruption. And uh, whatever he's doing in his private life, which we'll talk about later, he senses that there's a public appetite there uh, for officials to show that they're doing something about it. And so what we see very quickly once he arrives in Chongqing is this campaign against organized crime uh, in which he takes down uh, local business people who are accused of um, belonging to criminal syndicates, but also the officials who are accused of being their uh, patrons as well, uh, including the one who Xu Jun mentioned. I think his name is Wen Qiang, was the public security official who was, um, no, who was taken down in extraordinary circumstances, and then I think executed as well. Uh, at the time, uh, the campaign was also generating a lot of uh, domestic attention in China, uh, good press for Bo Xilai, and it seemed to be popular, uh, not merely with people in Chongqing, but also with the wider public as well. And uh, even after Bo Xilai's um, uh, fall from power, even after the revelations came out about all of the abuses in the campaign, it was certainly still common to come across people in Chongqing who thought it was a good thing to do and still thought it was the right thing to do. So it's one of those things where you can find the public sentiment, uh, especially among sort of um, uh, working people in China can be very different from sort of elite opinions. It was much more dismayed about the abuses of the campaign. It is very different between working people and the people who have access to more information than the working people. Like, uh, and, you know, journalists, writers, professionals, and the government uh, employees, they really had quite different uh, opinion about the Boshi Lai than the working people who had never seen him in person. I did a lot of uh, interviews uh, and even when Boshi Lai was still in power. I talked to many people and I really got this impression the opinions are divided. Working people like mm. people, you know, bang bang jun on the streets, you know, carrying stuff for people. They and the taxi drivers I talked to, they really like the Bo Xilai's uh, style. Like crack down, singing red songs. But uh, educated people and the uh, um, people who have access to more information, I didn't hear anything good. I mean, I wouldn't say anything. Let's be a little bit more correct, accurate. I didn't hear much good words from those people about the Bushina. 